Hey, what's going on guys? So in today's video, we're going to be looking at another example of Scrapey, but in this instance, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the Scrapey information. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape a website. So, so for example, we're going to go ahead and scrape books to scrape.com. And I've showed you guys this in a previous video. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it above so you can take a look at it. But this is essentially the website that we would be scraping. So let me just bring this back into proper size. And so what we did in the last video is we used Scrapey to go ahead and web scrape this. I've also done this with um, Beautiful Soup, which I'll also link below as well. But take a look at the Scrapey version. Now what I want to do is I actually want to create an API out of this. And normally I like doing my APIs in Django, but today I decided I'm going to do it in Flask. So the output of what this is going to look like is when I go ahead and scrape information, I'm actually going to get a JSON file that looks like this. So it has everything in there and you can go ahead and, you know, copy and paste this and put this into a JSON file if you wanted, but it allows you to go and get all the information that you want and get it in a JSON format. So let me show you how it works. So let's go ahead and close everything out. I'm going to first run this and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works. So let me go ahead and start the Scrapey RT module. And then I'm going to clear out my port that I've been using for my instance here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. It's going to give me a URL. Sorry, not this one. I'm going to run this one. It's going to give me this URL to go to. So we're going to go ahead and go to this URL and see what happens. So let's go there, open this up. And so now it's running in the back. So we have to give it a command because I asked it how many pages we want to scrape. So let's say there's 20 items per page. Let's say we want to scrape um you know four pages so we should have 80 in total so let's go ahead and do that now this actually renders a really cool little table that you can look at on on a web browser so if you wanted to um it's it's not very interactive other than the fact that it shows as a nice table and it has you know some of the css built in but really the json file here has the magic so when i go ahead and refresh this page it's basically pulled four pages worth and that should be 80 items because there are 20 items per page and that's exactly what it's done. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and build this. Um, and you can, like I said, you can extract the JSON, you can do more with it, or you can build a cool little table like this. And I'm going to include the code in GitHub as well. And I'll put the link below, but let's go through the code right now. All right. So again, if you haven't watched my scrapey tutorial, I encourage you to go ahead and watch this because I walk through this code and how I built it. And it's all in that video, so I'm not going to go over the scrapey piece itself. The only thing I changed was instead of yielding a data object uh, with a dictionary of all these items, I just went ahead and split these up. For some reason, I was getting duplicates with scrapey. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So some of the modules you're going to need is you're going to need something called scrapey RT. So you're going to go and type in. So let's just let me just type it up here for you. You're going to go into your terminal. You're going to type in pip install scrapey RT. And that's it. And that should give you the module that allows you to run this command here, which allows you to build all the JSON functionality. Then what I did is in that same folder of my scraper, I went ahead and added another folder called web app. And in that I have a static folder, template folder, and I have my HTML, which is what renders that this page over here. This is the HTML that gets rendered. And then finally, I have, ignore the form, I was trying to do something else, but ignore that. I have app.py, which is my main file at the end of the day. So I'm going to walk you through the code in terms of what I've done. So I've imported all of the different Flask elements that I need, uh, request, response, render, template, session, etc. Uh, the regular pandas request, import JSON, and then uh, Unicode literals. Um, and then after that, I just set up a route, and that is if, it, if they go to the main directory, go ahead and run this function. What this function does is it looks for the spider name books. And remember, if I go back to my spider, my name here is called books, which is where it's running it from. And then start request basically means that I'm going to go and look at my start URLs. And that's what I want to go ahead and go after. And so then below that, I just go ahead and I pass all that information uh, to Scrapey RT, which uses this command. This is built in. So crawl.json is something you can't change. It's part of Scrapey RT. What it does is it'll go and read your robot here or your or your bot here, and it'll scrape all this information for you and put it in this URL. It's going to be localhost port 9080, and you can change this if you want, forward slash crawl JSON, and then your parameters are going to be your spider name, and then start request equals true. If you have that, 
then you're going to be able to go ahead and grab this page here. So, so again, my URL is up here, port 9080, crawl JSON, spider name, book, start request equals true. So as long as you put that, you will then be able to get all of this. Now, when you run this, what it's going to do, like I, like I showed you before, is it's actually going to go ahead and ask you in the terminal how many pages you want to run. If you don't want to do that and you already have a prefix number of pages you want to run, you can just go into your bot folder here, into your My Spider, and you can change this to whatever number of pages. If you want to scrape 10 pages, 20 pages, you can scrape whatever number of pages you want here. Um, and I just put this so that you, it just asks you in the terminal like I showed you. Now, this is powerful enough, but then in order to render this as a table like this, it's actually not that difficult. What you would do is you would go ahead and go to your app.py. Um, once you get all that information, you would go ahead and store it as a data frame. You would take your data frame, you would create your columns, title, price, stock, star, and then you would render that template, which is simple.html, and we're gonna go over that in a sec. We're gonna pass it table to data frame, so you just go df.2html, class is equal to data, index is false, because I don't want those zeros and all that stuff in the front, and then titles is equal to just these titles over here. It's, it's gonna overwrite it with these anyways. Um, and then once you go to simple.html, this is your basic uh, Jinja format essentially. So um, really where it starts coming together is down here where you have four table in tables, render every single table and then end. And then that's it. And so that in itself will give you what you want. Now I also have a CSS styler built in and I'm not gonna go over the CSS styler because it's quite long, but that would go sit in your static folder. So you go into static, style.css and I have a whole bunch of different CSS styles or you can change these to whatever you want. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's completely up to you. But the power of this really is the ability to go ahead and get all this information in JSON. So imagine being able to go onto Amazon's website, scrape their information and then grab this as JSON and then you can do endless stuff when your data is in a JSON format. So um, I just wanted to show you very quickly how you guys can actually use Flask um, to go ahead and do something like this. I may actually build an entire Scrapey slash Django um, tutorial as well. And, and, and I would probably make that a little bit more comprehensive where I would go ahead and put things in the form and say, how many pages do you want to scrape and all that other stuff. And I just really wanted to play with uh, Flask with something like this. I'm not a big Flask user. I like using Django more, though I have used Flask in the past. Um, but anyways, this was a quick tutorial to show you how do you go ahead and take your scrape data and create an API out of it and pass your information back as a JSON and then take that JSON information and put it into a nice little table like this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Until then, I will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.